Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is a hair video because honestly, this has been requested a lot from you guys. Like, you all want to see how I style my hair since I cut it short. I feel like a lot of people have started to cut their hair short. It's just really in fashion right now. And then also people panic because they're like, how do I do it? I want to take you on a little hair journey of mine because it's been places, okay? We've done a lot with this head in my time, honest to God. <laughs> when I was like 15, I got really adventurous with my hair um, and I started to dye it, cut it, do like a million different things with my hair. I've always been that kind of person that like, I've never had much attachment to my hair in the sense that like, I'm up for trying different things with it. As a kid, I always had like the kind of hair could I have now, to be honest try and find a photo and insert it here and then as I got older I had it long then I cut it back up short then I had it long again and then I cut it up like super short like to the point where like it was like like really just like that pixie kind of a cut and then I started experimenting with colors I mean I've been blonde I've been black I've been red pink what else I actually can't even remember if I've had balayage I haven't had balayage I've like pretty much done loads with my hair <laughs> because I've done so much with my hair I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing with my hair like I am by no means a hairdresser I just I know what I'm doing when it comes to styling it I think well for me for my standards for what I'm happy with my hair looking like that's what I'm trying to say do you feel me okay um but anyway I want to show you guys how I get those little kind of waves in my hair because every time I do it and I post up an Insta story or whatever. Actually, speaking of Insta stories, come follow my Instagram while we're talking about it. Every time I post it up, everyone's like, how do you do that to your hair? I can never get like it right or whatever. So that's why I am here today to help you. If you're watching and you have really short hair, I'm gonna try and make your life a little bit easier. Um, I'm also gonna talk you through the products I use, the shampoos that I use, um, also like the tools that I use to do this to my hair, okay. Right, let's go. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start with the shampoos that I use. Two brands in particular that I'm obsessed with. So one is Kevin Murphy. If you guys have been following me, oh my God, this matches my eyeshadow hair fab. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll know that this is one of my all time favorite hair brands. I really genuinely do love it. I've never been paid from them to ever say that. I just really, really like their stuff and I have been using it probably I think 2017 is when I first was introduced to this and I honestly have been using it since the repair me so I use the shampoo and the conditioner they also have an amazing blonde shampoo so it's called blonde angel I use that quite a lot as well since I changed up my hair at the front actually speaking of my hair at the front so I used to have the blonde coming right the whole way up and I had a little bit of an accident with my hair you can kind of see it a little <laughs> so I decided to just like be smart and just take care of my hair a little bit more and just like really looking after my hair with the products I've been using and also I haven't dyed the top section so I'm waiting for this to kind of grow back down before I can start dyeing it again because I do miss having it right up the top I really loved it I'd rather have hair so there's that you know also recently lightened my hair a lot because I am going to switch my hair up this year I have an idea of what color I want it to be but I need to lighten it up a little bit more if anyone has any guesses what you think I'm going to do with my hair let me know down below but um yeah I think I need maybe one more go of lightening it before I get to the color that I actually want to go for a while just for something different. These are amazing. I love these. They make your hair feel really nice and soft and they smell delicious. And then there is also this brand here called Eleven Australia. They're two Australian brands. And um, I also love this. So this is the deep clean shampoo. So this if you get greasy hair I find this really good. This is a brand new bottle hence you can see the, the sticker still on it. Also have the hydrate me conditioner which is also amazing. And um, this is so good if you have greasy hair my hair gets greasy so fast I don't know why like I literally washed my hair yesterday um, and I just ran a straightener through it and I can already feel it starting to get a little bit heavy and dull like it's definitely gonna need to be washed tomorrow which is so annoying but I'm gonna use this it does definitely help give a little bit more longevity to my hair which is like goals am I right 
I also want to know what kind of like hair products you guys use if there's any shampoos that you would recommend me trying out and um, I'm always open to like trying whatever you think is good I value everyone's opinions you know two other products that I use one is from Redken so this is a heat protector it's like a cream um, and you basically just put like one pump and just put it in your hair when it's wet so this will protect your hair up to 230 degrees which is really important and I find since I have started lightening my hair because obviously Obviously you can see how dark my natural hair is. Once you start lightening your hair, it completely changes your hair texture. Everything about your hair is different, I find anyway. Especially because my hair is now short, I find I am putting like heat on it more than I ever have. When your hair is long, you kind of get away with maybe not blow drying it after your shower or whatever. But having short hair, you really have to like at least blow dry it. Otherwise, it, for me, my hair just looks crazy. There's this product here from Kerastas. This is the Elixir Ultimate Rose Oil. So I find this really, really nice for your hair to give it a bit of a shine. Now you only want like literally a pea size amount because too much can make your hair kind of greasy. Um, but I find this really good. When I do like my slicked hair looks, I actually find this amazing for getting that shine. I'll show you a picture here where you can actually really see the shine in my hair. And if you have any little flyaways or for me especially that little broken bit at the front, like. I'll show you a picture of what that looked like when it happened because compared to now, it happened in September and the, compared to now, like, it's incredible how much more hair I have now but this has been a lifesaver for just taming my hair down so almost, like, so I can blend it back into my hairline. It smells so delicious. Tools that I use. So this is my straighteners that I use. This is from Hot Tools. Also kind of, like, a rounded barrel if you can see so if you have longer hair I feel like this is really good if you also want to do like the waves in your hair using straightener for me one I actually have not mastered that technique I find it so difficult to do that and two my hair is a bit too short I think to do it so it's easier for me to use like an actual curler the curler that I use is actually also from Hot Tools love this so much I have literally been using this for years if you guys have been following me for a while you'll know this is the one I have been using for so long. I just love this. I just find it really good. I find the angle is really easy to curl. I'm gonna curl my hair now for you guys so you'll see anyway. But let's just get into doing my hair. I'm just gonna section off my hair. Get the top section off. I also have like a lot of hair. Wow. I did have extensions in my hair. I literally think I had like 220 bonds, which is like insane. It's my head was so freaking heavy but like I loved having extensions I just thought they were so nice I used to get the easy locks extensions and um, they were honestly my favorite ones but oh it was a lot of pressure on my head so I'm loving having none anymore to be honest just give my head a little break you know yourself this is just a tangle teaser I love tangle teasers I find these great I am gonna just start curling my hair. She just wrapped my hair around and you can see in my hand I'm holding on to the absolute tiniest little bit of hair at the end to keep that bit straight. So that's how you get that really like straight end effect. Um, if you don't want it to be too far down obviously just bend the end a little bit more. There that looks a little bit better. And then I'm literally just gonna keep on doing this to my hair but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna like swap the direction of the way I'm curling my hair. So you can see I'm curling this back. So then say for my next piece, I will curl it forward. And by just changing the direction, I feel the waves just kind of fall nicely into each other. If you do them all in the same direction, you, you're gonna get that kind of like curl where they all just like blend into one big curl. So like that's fine if that's the look you're going for, but to get those kind of like messy textured waves you want to get them all going different directions then I just kind of go back over if I feel like one's not curly enough it's too straight at the end if there's too much of a gap I'll just keep going back over until I get get it looking pretty much the way that I want it to look I did straighten my hair before so what I do is I blow dry my hair and then I'll go over really quickly with the straightener just to get any puffiness away to make sure the ends are actually all really straight beforehand um, and then I will go in and do these waves in my hair. We are moving on to the next section of my hair. Because my hair is so thick, I really have to like properly section it off. So I'm just going to take down pretty much all of one side of the hair. But I'm leaving like say the front section still up. I'm going to just repeat each, each process. It's kind of the first layer that you're curling 
in my opinion doesn't matter too much because that's just the underneath layer it's these next layers that you really want to get looking good and again I'm just going to keep switching the directions and then like I'm going to just pick up random pieces of hair and just kind of fix them if I feel like they need fixing <laughs> I want to kind of make sure your hair is really brushed before you curl it because I don't really like to brush my hair after it's curled. I just find with this kind of look it loses that kind of like texture that you're trying to get. get. I'm just going to continue what I've been doing the entire time. <laughs> So moving on to the front section, when you're doing the front sections of your hair, you want to just make sure that the hair is going away from your face, not in the direction of your face. So that just means when you let it go, it has that nice bounce back. And like, I know it looks really high and stuff there, but you'll let that kind of drop. Okay, so my entire head is now done. Sometimes I like to keep it in the middle split. Lately I've kind of been like flipping my split around so to get that I basically just like shake my hair out so I literally just play around with it until I get it to sit in a way that suits. This is also a good way to really get those curls kind of moving. I like to kind of push my hair behind my ear too. This is where these little flicky bits get on my so I need to show you how I actually fix these because if anyone else has the same problem, we're all in this together. This specific piece of hair that broke just won't chill. Like it's so annoying. Like what the hell? I look like I'm from that movie. There's something about Mary. Like I'm taking some hairspray. This is the Kevin Murphy session spray. It's like a stronghold hairspray. And basically I am just going to spray this all over my hair. And then using my fingers, I'm basically going to like manipulate my hair to stay in place. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This is literally how I do my hair every time I wear it wavy. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, obviously you can play around if you don't like your hair pushed over to one side, keep it in the middle, do you, whatever makes you feel good, just do it. I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Come follow me on Instagram and TikTok too, where I have lots of other content, fun videos, you know, just some glam makeup shots and whatnot. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.